everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of an art talk actually because it's something I think it's really important for beginning and intermediate artists. Um, it's not so much for more advanced artists because I think uh, they come sort of a long way and they sort of learn this <laughs> for themselves. Um, it's about doing art for yourself not for other people and for compliments. Now, I know most of us, when we are starting out as artists, maybe we're, we're quite small and we're making these drawings and paintings and our parents tell us how brilliant we are and we're just, we're geniuses and they stick all of our work up on the refrigerator or they frame it or they put it in a nice folder or something like that and we feel so good about ourselves and, and what we can do and we keep on and we keep on. Now, there's going to come a time when that starts to taper off, not just by your parents, but with everybody around you. And that's okay. And that's fine. And don't worry about it. It's not reflective of your talent. It's not reflective of your journey. It's entirely reflective of those people and what they're thinking and what they're feeling and their issues and things of that nature. So, if you are doing amazing work and you know it's amazing but you're just not getting the compliments that you think that you deserve, it's not you. It's okay. Don't worry about it because that's not why you're doing this. You are an artist because when you wake up every morning, you cannot think about being anything else in the world but an artist because there's nothing else that you do that gives you that feeling that you get when you're at the easel and you're creating something that didn't exist before. I mean, it's incredible. And if you are here, you're an artist, and I think you totally get me with that. Uh, we should not get into art for the compliments and the kudos and for the attention. That's like so not why you should be an artist. If you're getting into it for that, you are probably quickly going to be dismayed because Unfortunately, art is just not something a lot of people pay attention to in the way that they did in, you know, um, decades and even centuries past. And, you know, more's the pity because I really feel like there should be so much more of an emphasis on art. I mean, it's so important we would have absolutely nothing in this world if not for artists. So, um, that I just want to reiterate that this is for you. When you sit down to make whatever you're making, that's for you. That's your moment. That's not a moment for this person who you really want to impress or that person or for your friends or your family or complete strangers on Instagram or wherever you're posting this stuff. It's not for them. This is you doing you. And if it resonates with somebody out there, then that's absolutely fantastic. And you should definitely feel happy for that. But don't do it for those people. Do it for yourself. Because the more you put in your, of yourself into it, the more your work is going to shine, in my opinion. So, I don't want you guys to start doing your work and you get brave enough to show your friends or family and you get these kind of lukewarm or like, yeah, it's really good, congratulations, yeah, it's great, you know, and you feel like, oh, this, that wasn't really what I wanted or somebody's just giving you like a one-line great or something like that and you're like, oh my god, I spent so much time on this, I did so much research and, you know, whatever the case may be and however much time you put into it, um, it's not, it's not you. Like, you did you and that is awesome and your work will show you and that's the important part. If it doesn't resonate with your cousin or your friend or whatever, that's not important. It's important that you had that moment and you made something and you put it into this world that didn't exist before and that's a beautiful thing. So. Keep that in mind and don't get discouraged if you don't get all these accolades because even people who do so much amazing work, I've had, I've had discussions with artists that I just think are absolutely phenomenal and nobody tells them. And to me that's so amazing. I mean, one of my friends is a fantastic artist and um, their family sort of just didn't pay any attention to their work whatsoever. and. For me, I'm just, I'm so flabbergasted about that because I know how much skill it takes to do the work that they have done and, um, you know, definitely more is the pity for that. I just, I feel so sad uh, that that happens, but it happens to so many people. So if you are going through the same thing, don't worry about it. Everybody is dealing with it. You're just, you're one of the club. <laughs> so anyway, that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this, um, this topic and 
I hope if you're going through something similarly, and um, I'm sure a lot of you are, please don't take it personally. It's not any sort of re reflection on your talent or your abilities or the heart and soul that you put into your work. It's, it's just, if it's just not hitting home with other people, it could be for so many different reasons. It could be for whatever's going on in their life. It could be because they just don't know how to appreciate art. They could be colorblind for all you know. It doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is that you had a fantastic time creating that piece. I wanted to add a little quote here from one of my favorite art teachers and uh, from my, one of my favorite books called The Art Spirit by Robert Henry. He says something that echoes what I've been saying in this video, so I wanted to add it in. He says, notwithstanding all of these criticisms, you have a heart for the work. You love the things. You have a heart feeling for the girl and of respect. Forget about the exhibitions and the juries. Think less of the successes of the byproduct and you will have more successes with it. Keep living. And that means keep on painting. There are men who at the bottom of the ladder battle to rise. They study, struggle, keep their wits alive, and eventually get to a place where they are received as an equal among respected intellectuals. Here they find warmth and comfort in their pride. Here the struggle ends and a death of many years commences. They could have gone on living. He also goes on to say, like to do your work as much as a dog likes to gnaw a bone and go at it with equal interest and exclusion of everything else. So for me, I just think that Robert Henry is saying, you know, like I've been saying, do it for yourself, don't do it for the adulation, and your work will be fantastic for it. Because it really is all about the journey and all about what you put into your canvas and all about what it gives back to you. So, anyway, thank you so much for joining me this week and I will be back next week with another tip or talk. I'm really not sure yet, but with something. Anyway, have a fantastic week, everyone. I'll see you later.